Welcome to part two of our lesson on song approach. Now in this part, we're going to talk about the first three areas of the song that you need to break down and really understand before you can sing it. The first one we'll approach are the lyrics. So how do you approach the words to the song? There are several things you can do to get a better understanding of the words and then decide how to sing them. First, memorize the lyrics on paper. Don't sing them. Just look at them as an actor would look at lines on a script or a story. Write the lyrics out on paper or type them on your computer. Include the punctuation. Yeah, that's the periods and the commas. So you're able to view the lyrics as the words in a story. Next, think about breath and space. You want to choose where you'll take your breaths in every song you learn. If you don't pick out these spaces ahead of time, then you run the risk of running out of breath and choosing the wrong parts to take your breaths. So decide on this early and make notes on your chart you know, to help you remember where you are. As you get comfortable with the song, you'll start to remember them on your own. Choose places to take breaths that feel natural, you know, where you'd take a breath if you were, say, talking to a friend. You should also look up any word that you don't know in a dictionary before you move on. As you read the words out loud, you'll notice where the inflections are, or which parts of the words your voice should focus on when you sing it. Finally, when you read the lyrics, find the most important words. You know, that is, the words you would really stress with your voice when saying them in your normal day-to-day -day conversations. Uh, these words are usually related somehow to what the song's about. So if you're singing about love, it's fair to say the important words will be things like heart, feeling, all that. The next area you need to find the right approach to in a song is the rhythm. So start with tapping out the rhythm of a song with your feet or clapping out your hands, whatever works for you. Don't worry about the speed or if you mess up the beat at first. As you continue to practice the rhythm, you'll start to correct all that naturally on your own. Once you have tapping down, start speaking the words in the rhythm of the song. Speaking the words will help you with whatever questions you still have about how to sing them. Like how to break each word up, which parts of the words to sing longer than others, all of that. The last important part of the rhythm in the song is what's called the time signature. At the beginning of a piece of sheet music, you'll notice the time signature written as a fraction. An example is 4-4, which is the beat structure we talked about in our lesson on rhythm. It can also be noted as C, which means common time, because it's the one they use the most. The time signature tells you how the beats are divided in the song. It's a little more complicated than that, but for now, that's good enough to go on. All right, next. Sing the melody of the song. Do it two ways. First, sing it without the words, focusing on learning just the melody. You're really doing two kinds of memorization, the notes of the song and the lyrics. Breaking them up into two pieces makes it easier to learn. Uh, once you've learned the melody and you've learned the words, put them together. Applying the words to the melody reinforces the memorization of both, and it helps them stick in your brain. It sounds simple, but you have to have the melody perfectly to really get the song right. So practice it. All right, so those are the first three parts of the song and how to approach them. In the last part of our lesson, we'll cover the rest of the areas you'll need to learn how to approach, and we'll also talk about different kinds of music and how to approach them. I'll see you in part three.